Welcome to Hevway 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the features block from Headway Rocket. Let's dive right in. All right, I've got my website open in grid mode, and I'm going to click and drag and select features, and I'm going to hit save. Remember that to install add-on blocks, all you have to do is go into the administrative dashboard, down to plugins, and all add on blocks install like a plugin. Here you can see the Headway Features block is installed. All right, back in the visual editor, um, the Features block displays features that you want to highlight about your product or service. So as I refresh, you can see this is what it looks like by default. Pretty cool. Um, let's go back and mess with it a little. So here on configure layout, you can see that you can choose the content source and that's headway or WordPress. Um, if you choose headway, then you can modify the features content from within Headway. And if you choose WordPress, you use a custom post type. So I have that set up on my access page for Headway 101. Um, so these are custom post types, actually, this content being drawn in using the features block. Um, and I've styled it differently on this page. And if I show you the dashboard again, you can see that you can manage it like pages or posts or other custom post types you might have. But let's stick to managing it from Headway. Okay. Here in the features content, you can choose, let's go to design mode, actually. See if it'll update in real time. All right. As I was saying, here you can determine under the features content tab uh, the title. So in this case, it would be um, I'm doing a page for Headway Schematic, which is a child theme framework. So I guess I would write. Mm, the ultimate child theme framework. You can see it update. And then I can choose whether or not I want that to be an H1, an H2, and so on and so forth. I'm going to make it an H1. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in headway in the event I don't take this down later. <laughs> themes. The ultimate headway themes, child theme framework. It's a lot of the word theme. And over here, I'm going to write something like schematic gives any user the ability to create professional child themes for headway. So this would be wherever, whatever you wanted uh, the headline, the second tagline to be, maybe bold. There's also a before block in case you wanted to add something here, like um, introducing, maybe, dot, dot, dot. And you can see that appearing here. So there's a lot you can do without having to use any code just to customize the content itself. Um, feature one, I can type in, no, I'm gonna type in <laughs> CSS map. That's one of the things that's in schematic. And then if you hear that honking noise, um, for some reason my neighbors are being loud at 7.43 AM. So that's great. A complete breakdown of all uh, CSS styles found in Headway themes and its add-on blocks. So that might be a feature uh, where it says choose image. 
is where you can select an image. I'm going to see if I can find an icon somewhere to show you guys. I've got these weird little icons that have nothing to do with coding. Pick the ninja one. I never have images prepared for any of these videos. So you can see there, you can add an image. Um, so that's how you might, that's how you would change a feature. And then if I scroll up here, um, if I move this up, if it will work for me. I believe you can change the number of features, but you might be limited to six. I lied. You can change the number of features here under config and content options. So if I just wanted to change it to three, I could do that. And uh, you can see here it changes automatically. And of course, it'll tell you to save and reload. Um, and then you can determine where you want the image to go by clicking on this button where it says image position. Uh, you can add it left, right, or below the title. And then you can resize it, you can crop it, um, and choose how you want to arrange that. That, uh, that tooltip doesn't want to go away from me though, so I might have to let them know about that. And then you can choose the width of the image, etc. Alright. So going back um, over here, if I save and reload, you'll see that the number of features will change. Oh really? That was weird. It kicked me out of the page I was looking at. <laughs> Probably me, I probably did a redirect. Okay, so if you go back to the features content, you can see that the number of features is down to three. Um, this video is a little bit long than I like, because longer than I like, because uh, there's so much to do with the features block. But this is a basic tutorial, and then I'll just show you how to change the design which is obviously one of the most important parts and is actually really cool. Over here on features, um, you see here it's got these ID numbers. That's because each instance of the feature block is loaded into the headway design automatically. So instead of having to click instances, uh, you can just scroll down and find the ID number, in this case 54 and choose it and it makes it a little bit easier um, to customize. So I can change the font to my title font, which is Francois 1. And so see all my titles will change, um, make them black, make them bigger. The, uh, the block title is actually what changes this. So that would be like orange, I guess. I'd note shade of orange. I'm just gonna make it black because I literally don't know what shade of orange I want it to be. And then the block description, which is this part, could be, um, this one could be orange. Not that bright. There we go. That's a good orange. Oh, I clicked away from it. That was me. That was a user error just there change the font to whatever font I was using with Google fonts. Whoops. I'm making all kinds of live mistakes right now because I keep clicking on the font I don't want to use. I meant to change the um the block title. I didn't I didn't click away. So as you can see, it's really easy to customize all the elements. Um, here we go. Just by clicking things. 
And yeah, that's basically an overview of the features block. It would take me, I think, like a whole webinar to show you every single thing that's accomplishable. That's not a word. But <laughs> I would definitely say if you're looking to make like a sales page or like just a product page on your website, check it out because great copy is one thing, but also laying it out is another and features just makes it insanely easy and so customizable. So check that out on Hubway Extend. I don't get any money if you buy it, so totally up to you. I'm just showing you how it works. Headway rock, headwayrocket.com is where uh, you can get support and more information. And headway101.com, as always, is where you can find tutorials and overviews. I'm Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.